afternoon or good day po ulit sa ating lahat, my dear um, students or followers, okay? So, as you can see, um, pinalitan ko lang po yung ditong banda, yung sa may remainder theorem. Um, this is a continuation of the part 7 or the far, part 5 and the part 6 of this video. Okay, part 7 na po ngayon. Ngayon, kung papansin niyo remainder theorem and factor theorem. Okay? Why? It's because pagsasamahin na po natin ang discussion niya. It's just almost or the same. Ang pinagkaiba lang po niya sa factor theorem, you are proving that this factor is zero. At kailangan nating mapalabas na ang sagot natin at the end is zero. Samantalang sa remainder theorem po, if at the end, meron pong visible na number, or what do we call what is, kunwari, may sagot na, may number na hindi zero, aside from zero, may, na, may sagot na number doon, yun po yung pinapagpapatunay that that is a remainder theorem. Okay? Hindi ko po siya masyadong i-elaborate. Basic lang po ang aking ituturo dito. Yung mga theorem theorems po nito, mababasa po natin sa inyong mga mathematics book. Okay. So, let us start. Okay. So, dito, the same example ng example na ginamit ko nung long method, long method division. Same true with the synthetic division. Parehong parehong problem po. Ngayon, ang kaibahan po is the theorem na gagamitin natin. Una is the remainder theorem or the factor theorem. But which is which, they are just the same. Okay? Ito po. Given this polynomial function, function of x is equal to 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 5x minus 12 divided by x minus 3. Kasi ito yung pagpapatunay natin that this may be a factor of this. Pero nung mga nakarang video, yes na po yung sagot natin. Okay? Ngayon, Anong gagawin natin dito? Tignan muna natin mabuti po itong factor niya. Okay? Itong kanyang divisor. Okay? Kung factor nga ba niya yan. Okay? Ang unang-unang gagawin muna natin dito is x minus 3 is equals to 0. Then, susunod po natin, x is equals to 3. Paano nangyari yun? Transpose natin po siya sa kabila. So, negative po siya dito pagka-transpose natin sa kabila, naging positive. So, ngayon, ito po ang gagamitin natin at substitute natin dito sa ating function of x. So, isulat po muna natin siya. Function of x is equals to 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 5x minus 12. Okay? Next, substitute na po natin yung values niya. Function of x, which is 3, is equal to 2 cube 2 uh, sinubstitute na natin yung x minus 3 squared minus 5 times 3 minus 12 okay, ngayon simplify natin itong mga exponent muna okay, so equal to 2, 3 cube, 3 times 3 times 3, ilan ang sagot natin doon we have 27 minus 2 cube. Uh, sorry, 3 squared. Sorry, balik tayo yung pagkasabi ko. No? 3 squared. We have 9 minus 15 minus 12. Ngayon, simplify natin yung mga parentheses. Is equals to 54 minus 3 times 9, 27 minus 15 minus 12 is equals to 54 sorry 54 minus 54 is equals to 0 so meaning to say 0 yung pinakasagot na pinakalas na answer natin meaning to say that this one is a factor of the given polynomial function okay I repeat the given divisor is a factor of this given polynomial function. Okay?
Okay? And that is in the factoid theorem. Ngayon, magbibigay naman tayo dito. Ito lang, kung ano lang yung maisip kong isulat dito. ha? Function of x is equal to the 2x cubed minus 3x. Tapos, divided by po natin siya by x plus 1. Okay, ulitin ko. Ipakita ko. Ha? Medyo magalaw kasi kasi hawak ko lang yung camera ko. Yan. 2x cubed minus 3x divided by x plus 1. Gagamitin natin yung the same um, um, procedure na ginawa natin doon kanina. Okay? f of x, since eto muna, eto muna, x plus 1 is equal to 0. I-equate natin, x is equal to negative 1. Transpose natin siya, kaya negative 1 ang gagamitin natin. Okay, sana na susundan nyo. Okay, function of negative 1 is equal to the 2, negative 1 cubed, minus 3, negative 1. Okay, is equal to, 2, negative 1 cube. Ilan yon? We have negative 1 pa rin. And then, 3 times negative 1, naging positive 3 na siya. And then, multiply natin ito. So, we have negative 2 plus 3. The answer is 1. So, meaning to say, meron tayong remainder 1 dito. Okay? Okay? And that concludes yung ating remainder theorem. Ibig sabihin din, yung x plus 1 is not a factor of this given polynomial function. 2x cubed minus 3x. And then, x plus 1 ang ating divisor, which is iniisip natin na siya ba ay isang factor ng given polynomial na ito. Nung kinumpute natin gamit ang remainder theorem, or the factor theorem, nakita natin na merong natirang number. That means, this is not a factor of that given polynomial function. Okay? Isusubstitute po natin, yung given divisor po natin. So, if you have more questions, kindly comment down your questions. Okay? So again, this is the division of polynomials, remainder theorem, and factor theorem. Pinagkaisa na lang po natin sila. Okay? Thank you guys, and kindly subscribe. Thank you. So okay po. Thank you very much po for watching our video. May mga nagpapashoutout po. Dominic Baniked ng St. Thomas. Jana May F. Castro ng St. Leo. And si Franken Mix. Thank you so much po sa pagpukomment. Kung gusto niyo ma-shoutout, comment down po ulit. Thank you!